Hey, welcome back, my peeps. I got another quick tutorial for you guys today, but it's actually not for you guys. It's going to be for the kids. It's a cute um, a little cookie you can do with the kids because I know the kids are going to be all over the place for the holidays and you probably want to do something to keep them busy. So you can make this cute little turkey cookie with them. It's, just, it's all clay, it's all made out of clay. So um, air dry clay is lightweight and it's so easy for them to make and they'll have tons of fun in making it. So I'm going to show you guys how to um, make this so you can make it with the kids and have fun. I'm mean, probably going to have the grandkids over, the nieces, the nephews, and all that good stuff. So I was thinking that maybe we should do something to keep the kids busy and this is just so easy and we're going to make this. Okay, but before I do all of that, I want to show y'all, uh, I don't know if any of you guys got to see my mini turkey dinner on a real, no, a short. I made a mini mashed potato. Got the main man here, the turkey. Got some sweet potato souffle with our little toasted marshmallows. Got some buns. And then we got um, stuffing and green beans here. So, oh, I ain't show you the cutest part of it all. I ain't show you this. My banana pudding. Look how cute this little banana pudding. Oh, God, you can't even see it that good with these lights. Hold on, let me see if I can. Um, you can see. There you go. You see my little banana pudding? You see the little banana slices in there? This is my favorite thing that I made in this whole mini dinner. That's my favorite. And so, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I made these um, Christmas cookies. We made us, I had a workshop on Facebook, a paid workshop, which was $9.99. We did made a snowman. We did made a tree. We made a Santa. We made a gingerbread house, gingerbread man, and Santa's helper, the elf. So I had a paid workshop on Facebook where we made all these um, cute cookies with one cookie cutter. We made all these cookies. And uh, you can watch the replay if you want to. If you, you know, it was just $9.99. If you pay $9.99, you can watch the replay. And you can learn how to make all these cookies. <coughs> Excuse me. Plus, I made extra ones. Um, I'll leave the information if you are interested in watching the replay and making these cute cookies for your Christmas tea tray display or your kitchen, you know, whatever. Um, if you want. So now, on to making this cookie. Okay, guys, so you're going to need a candy corn cookie cutter. And we're going to need our cookie dough uh, colored clay. You know, the one that I use all the time. You just mix some white clay with some apple barrel classic caramel. And you get that. And I got my sticks here to guide me because I want a thick cookie dough base. And then I'm going to uh, thin, use my thin sticks to um, make the other layers like we always do. But let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's move this over. We don't. We need this. Let's move this over a little bit. Alright. So I'm just going to roll out my cookie dough in between my sticks like I always do. Alright. Put the sticks to the side. Cut out my cookie. And remember, always remove the excess first. Okay? So it won't stick to your cookie. Put your clay away because it starts drying pretty quickly. It'll get a skin on it and then your clay is going to be ruined. 
So then you want to take your cookie out and, you know, touch up all the edges if you can. I like to use this tool here to give texture to the cookie. Make it look more like a real cookie. I don't really want to mess, uh, like use a brush because if I use a brush, I got to put pressure in it to, you know, to make the uh, texture and then it's going to distort my cookie and I don't, I don't want that. So this is a, like what they call these, um, texture, a wire texture clay tool. Anyways, I'll link it if you are interested in that. So I'm going to put my cookie over here because now we're going to make the rest of this and you're gonna still need the cookie cutter so we're gonna need a little bit of yellow some red some orange some brown and uh and then we're gonna get that cute little turkey cookie and then at the at the end of the day or after when you're done you can write the kids names on the back with the date and they can take it home with them or you could just make a bunch for you if you want for your tray, for your um, tear tray. I know Thanksgiving is, you know, is here, but you still make some. So I'm going to cut the cookie out again. I should have did the top first, but of course, put my tray back. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm going to do orange first. I don't know why I did the yellow part first, but I did. So I'm gonna get my orange. And I'm using um this clay is from uh Michaels. Creatology. It comes in like nine different colors. It's $3.99. You can get that from Michaels if you only want to buy like a small amount of clay. Because I know the clays that I have links to, the vendors, they sell big amounts of clay. And if you don't want to invest in that much clay, you can get these small bags. This is four ounces. It's the same amount that comes in the bag of um, like Model Magic. I like this air dry clay better than Model Magic. It's not as tough as model magic you can work with it pretty easily and um it dries pretty fast so so let's i like to turn it over a little get the stretch it out a little bit so make sure my cookie cutter fits in there put the sticks to the side turn my cutter get it out and um, if you can't find a candy corn cutter, I could post a link to the Amazon um, once they have on Amazon, which is a pretty good deal because you get more than one cutter, and that'll be perfect. So if you want to do this with the kids, and I know it's kind of late, but I've been so busy doing so many other things plus work. And, uh, you know how it goes. Alright, so now, you're going to need your little blade over here. Because we want to cut, well, you know what, you don't need your blade. You can use this. You can use the cookie cutter. And you're going to go in here like this. And you are just going to cut that part out. Save this part, put it away. I'm not going to need the orange anymore after this. And then you are going to take your yellow part and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take out as much yellow as you think you're going to need for his beak. And you're going to do the same thing. And this is pretty easy. That's why I said this is a pretty easy cookie for the kids. Just need one cookie cutter. It's kind of repetitive because you do the same thing over. But that's what I like about it. You don't need any other tools. You don't need any other like cookie cutter or anything. And I always like starting where there's a point. So 
So you just lay that down. There go your beak. And you're going to take the part that you cut out from the top of the orange. And you're just going to go lay it right on top of that. And look. Basically, your cookie is done. Now make sure that your cookies meet so when they start drying up, they don't shrink separately and separate. So make sure you got all the edges down. Make sure this part touches and you're good. So now we're going to make a little piece of his hair. Got a little piece of brown here. And, uh, hold on. It's just that I gotta close these bags up because I can't afford for my clay to, like, dry out. I don't, I don't know. Like, you just need a small piece. You don't need a big piece. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna roll it into a ball. And then, I kind of think I took out too much. You're going to take it and roll it into a ball, right? And you're going to take that ball, and you're going to take a toothpick, whatever you have, and you're going to make two separate, maybe I should have put it down. You're just going to go like this and make two separate cuts. And then you're going to grab it. And you're just going to shape it into his hair. Like this. this little piece. Try to keep it in the... Oh, oh don't let the clays touch. <laughs> oh, boy. That's the only thing that I don't like about um, this air dry clay that is... Well, it's just like Model Magic. When if you let it touch, it uh see the little hair. I don't know if you can see that too good. It's just like three little pieces, three little parts, and you're just gonna try to put it right in the middle of his head. Then you can texturize that with a brush. To give him some, make it look more feather-like. Okay, there you go. He got his hair now. And um, now we're going to do his face. Oh, we could do his little, hold on, let's do that part first. I need my yellow clay. You just need two little dots to make for his beak. Right here, these two little dots. So, just take one, put it there, take the other one, put it right next to him, and there you go. You got your little, I don't even know what you call them things, nostrils, <laughs> I don't know, sorry, but I'm not sure what, I'm guessing that's where he breathed through, anyways. I'm not going to stress myself about that. And I don't, I'm not even sure what's this red part called. And I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I mean, I've heard the word before, but I don't remember. I forgot. And you just, all you're going to do is take a piece, like a little rope, roll it out. Make the end a little thin on one side, then bend it. And just come in there and put it down like that. There you go. And now we're going to do his eyes, which is a little bit of pink paint. Get you a dotting tool. Got me a dotting tool here. I'll leave a link. And then you're just going to put... It's, I don't know why his eyes look like this. I saw a real cookie on, um, on Pinterest, and this is how they did it. So this is how I'm doing it. So you should let it dry in between, but because we're making this video, you know, I'm making a video, I can't wait for it to dry. Um, I could, but we're not going to do that. 
we just gonna keep it moving so I got me another dotting tool and I'm just gonna put his eye right there and right there and there you go I kind of think I made his eyes too separate <laughs> too far apart but you know guys you you know what I'm trying to do here yeah I should just make his eyes a little bit bigger yeah that helped because I feel like his eyes were just a little too small right and then we are going to take a little piece of the brown um or should I use black let me use the black hold on let me get some black black clay so far I've been using the uh target target oh my gosh the Michaels brand clay that's what I have right here and uh, I had it for a while so I kind of wanted to use it up so you don't need a big piece to make it matter of fact that's too much just need like a small little worm then you're gonna take your uh what I did my blade is over here and just cut that in half roll it out a little bit more get it back into worm shape and just put it above wait I need it to be a little then just put it one there and the other one on the other side and you have your turkey your cute little turkey you can make with the kids for Thanksgiving to keep them busy you got I know y'all got clay y'all been buying up some clay because y'all been telling me y'all buying clay so go on and make you some Thanksgiving Day cookies with the kids they'll love it make some cookies with them and when they turn when they get older if you save it for them or if they take it home or whatever like I said you can put the date on the back their name the date on the back and it'll be a cute little keepsake to commemorate your Thanksgiving this year. I think it's pretty cute, pretty easy. Right? Anyway, guys, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. May you have uh, fun with your family and friends and make great memories. And I will see you again in the next video. Okay, guys? God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye.